Well, hello. Welcome to the Lady Charmaine Live Show. And my guest today has been in such TV shows as House Arrest, Nine, Cougar Town, and Aim High. But one of his most memorable roles was when he played Derek in the Disney Channel's hit TV show, That's So Raven. And here to talk about his new movie entitled In the Hive, directed by none other than Mr. Robert Townsend, I want you to help me welcome Jonathan McDaniels to the show. How you doing, Jonathan? Oh, I'm doing blessed. I'm 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 great. I'm great. How you doing? I'm blessed like you, and I'm great too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm <laughs> Good. Well, one, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show. And a lot of people may remember you when you were in That So Raven. You were in about ten episodes. So, how did you land that role on That So Raven? Um, actually, man, uh, that situation was uh, was was really crazy because I had started off in uh, the music industry um, for the last uh, 15 years. Um, I had been working doing music, and um, through me being able to tour and uh, get my name out there, I was able to you know uh, network with a lot of people in the industry. And uh, one of my good friends was an actress at the time, and she was good friends with Raven, and so she introduced us. And um, we just kind of hung out as friends, and uh, I think uh, we we all went out to Magic Mountain, uh, hung out and kicked it for one of our friends' birthdays, and you know just enjoyed ourselves. And then um, uh, we became friends. She gave me her number, I gave her my number, and we were just talking back and forth as far as like she knew I was trying to break into the industry as an actor, and you know I was asking a lot, you know a lot of for her for her her advice, you know what I mean, and, and different things of like how I can break in and, you know, how I can make the transition from music to acting. And so uh, the opportunity came up for me to get on that So Raven by playing her boyfriend because um, they were looking for a boyfriend love interest on the show and she knew I was trying to get in there. So she set up the audition for me and uh, had me come in for all the Disney executives and um, we did a great job on the audition. You know, our chemistry was there because we were already friends. And so um, it really was only supposed to be for like about two episodes you know this uh this really small part and a really small role it was like she was interested in me but maybe not you know i had one of those good summers where i had braces last summer but i came back looking different you know it's one of those little playful things and um you know just us having chemistry and being friends and you know everyone like me being on the show and you know i was already friends with a lot of other actors that were on the show so it was just um it was kind of like a family orientated thing man so they 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 called me back and uh, i ended up doing almost three seasons on the show and so it was just truly a blessing for me to be able to get that as my first start in acting you know Okay, now Jonathan, this is just between me and you, okay? Nobody else is between me and you. Now, I'm sure <laughs> it didn't hurt that you were kind of cute, too. Now, is this kind of like life <laughs> imitating art? Let's just be real. This is me and you talking. Nobody else, just us. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that's all i'm like yeah i'm sure that was a great way to write you into the show because you're pretty cute you know anybody ever tell you that well i appreciate that <laughs> thank you so much i appreciate that sir. <laughs> so yeah i probably would write you uh, into it, to be my boyfriend too yeah i'm gonna write you into you the know, show. It, it, it always yeah it always helps you know when uh when you can use certain things that god has blessed you with to you know uh help you move forward in the industry but you know for the most part, it was really, you know, just a, a real big blessing to be able to get that opportunity. You know, everything worked out for me to get that opportunity. And, um, you know, I really took it serious. It, it was something I was very passionate about, which was getting uh, into acting from music. And so... Um, uh, I just, you know, I wanted to learn. I wanted to uh, understand, you know, what it took to, 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 to be the best or, you know, to get to uh, Raven's level as far as being able to do multiple shows and movies for, you know, years upon years. And so, um, you know, I just studied a lot and I, and I just took it serious and I knew that this was going to help me you know, break into the industry and for a lot of people to be able to see my work and see what I can do and see my ability. And, uh, you know, I just took it from there. So it was, it was a great opportunity. You know, Raven is still one of my best friends in the world. And so, you know, much love to her. I, you know, I, I truly just show her so much love for being able to even offer me such a big break like that, you know, and be able to be a, a good friend like that and help me out. That was, that was amazing of her. And the one thing that um, that's interesting about you is that, for your age, you could still play younger roles, which is really good. Yeah. Yeah, believe it or not, I have this uh, <laughs> this baby face, and so... <laughs> 
uh, it, it, it really, you know, it's a, it's a gift and a curse. Sometimes it, you know, it works in my favor, uh, you know, for me to be able to, to consistently work, um, on multiple different levels of age range and acting in different shows and movies because of, you know, I can play the older, you know, my age, but at the same time, I can also, you know, jump into the younger roles, like the role for In the Hive with Robert Townsend. I'm playing a 16 year old kid that turned 17 in the movie. And so, so, you know, uh, I'm, you know, I'm basically 10 years older than that, you know, so it's kind of crazy to think that I can still play 10 years younger than what I am. So it's a gift, but at the same time, it's it's still, you know, sometimes um, hurts me a little bit because some roles that I really do want to get or do want to transition into as far as older action sequences or different things, you know, a lot of producers and directors still haven't yet seen me in that light yet. So I think it's just going to take, you know, certain work for certain people to really be able to um, trust me and take, uh, you know, and take advantage of the fact that I do have the chops to be able to uh, do different roles, drama, comedy, action. You know, I want to do it all. I'm not, I don't want to just, you know, uh, t you know, cast type, you know, type cast myself mm -hmm. as far as like, you know, putting myself at, at one dimension on acting. Same thing with music. You know, I never wanted to be just a rapper. I was a rapper, you know, who danced and, you know, put a whole show together like Chris Brown, Usher type, you know, and it was like something different. You didn't really see that out there. So that's what I always try to do with, you know, with any of my talents is try to explore my talents, but at the same time add a little bit something that's different, that's unique about myself that will kind of, you know, give the people a reason to pay attention to me, you know? Oh, that's good. I mean, that's a good way to put it. But the one thing, too, about be, looking young is that at least you're going to be cute for a long time and you're going to be able to preserve your youth. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one thing. That's the one yeah. thing. <laughs> I think. Well, that is, that is true. I mean, everybody always tells me that, like, you know, that's nothing to complain about. That you're always going to look young. So I don't, I don't, I definitely don't have no complaints. But, you know, it's it's worked out for me, and uh, and I love it. You know. That's good. Well, if you're just tuning in, we're talking to Jonathan McDaniel Daniels. You may know him as uh, Lil J, <laughs> and he's also a singer as well. We're going to be getting into that. But Jonathan, I want to talk about your movie in the Hive. Tell us about your character. Oh man, this character Extra Keys, um, who I play in the film In the Hive, is you know really complex. He's very um, you know tough on the outside, but there's a light that's really trying to shine through the toughness, you know, on the inside. There's like a, a spark in him that wants more. He wants better. He wants, you know, bigger than what he's, you know, uh, been given and uh, being a product of his environment. And so uh, the back setting is based on a true story about the school called In the Hive. I mean, it's called uh, The Hive in North Carolina, Berkey County. And it was started by One Economy Corporation, who is the uh, backers of the film and also a uh, amazing uh, woman by the name of Vivian Saunders um, whose heart is just like pure gold. I mean, this woman, you know, out of just the love of her heart really wanted to give these boys a second chance at life, you know. Uh, she she cooks for them at the school. She takes care of them at the school. She you know they 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 make sure they instill respect and discipline. You know as 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 much as you know the the rest of the STEM programs that they teach them through technology and and, and learning math and science and everything that they need to learn. These kids are being brought up to date with society's technology by you know this woman and one economy school uh just really showing these kids that you know we care about you first more importantly than actually uh you know just pushing education in your face we care about you we want to see you succeed and so my character goes through this really long journey of you know boy to manhood you know he's um he's 16 years old he lives in a trailer park with his mom who's played by Vivica Fox uh, his baby mama and his stepbrother and sisters all live in one trailer home. And my father is in prison for manslaughter and robbery. And so he has this real mind manipulation situation on me because I don't listen to no one or care about anything except for what he tells me and, you know, what I choose to do for my son because I want to make a different life for my son than what I've had. And so um, you see this journey of this kid, you know, going from being a gang banger, repping, uh, repping the, the gang that his father has started and instilled in him to be able to carry on while he's in prison. 
And so he runs into the school because uh, this is really his last chance at life. It's either here or he's going to go to prison with his father because he's not been out doing too much or he's going to end up dead. So this is his last stop. This is it. He's already on probation. So they take him to the school called The Hive, and that's where he runs into Loretta Devine's character who's who plays Vivian Saunders, the real woman that started the school, and Michael Clark Duncan's character who's, who's kind of the disciplinarian at the school. He plays Mr. Hollis. And... um Basically, by him going to the school and learning education through the love of these individuals and the love of the school, he starts to really, you know, show more of that spark that I was saying that is inside him that he's been holding, you know, uh, he's been holding to himself because no one else will accept that, no one else will understand that. And so, uh, you know, the school changes him. The school makes him want to get out of the gangs. The school makes him want to strive more for his for his son. You know, it makes him want to, uh, you know, even you stand up to his father and let his father know that he is his own man and that he's not going going to continue to live the life that he want, that his father has chosen for him to live and he wants to do more for his for his kid and so it's a real you know coming of age story for this kid you know but it's surrounded by a school and a true story that just has so much um you know uh just and the story just has so much there. I mean, it, it, you, there's so many crying moments, there's so many happy moments. There's, I mean, this this movie takes you on such a journey. But at the end of the day, you know what I think Robert Townsend really wanted to um, put out there was the message, you know, to show people like we're losing these young kids out here because we're not caring about them. Yeah, we want to teach them the same education that we have and that we've grown up with, and our parents have grown up with, and our great grandparents have grown up with, but but this is a new world. You can't teach these kids the same way that you taught 50 years ago. Now it's a new way of teaching. Technology is at the forefront, and it's a whole new way of teaching, and these kids need to know because a lot of them don't receive that love anywhere else. They need to know that you care about them before you can just force education or force a subject down their throat. You know what I mean? And so I think this is going to be an awakening for parents. It's going to be an awakening for gang members and, and, and individuals that really want to get out, but they just don't know the first way to get out. They really do want education, but they don't know how to convey that to their friends because they think that's showing weakness. It's also going to, you know, mirror the teachers because the teachers are going to see like, wow, you know, maybe if we did care more about the students instead of just our paychecks or just getting through or just getting by, maybe these kids really will listen to us. Maybe we will make a change. Maybe we will understand why we even started doing it. So it's, it's a film that I think is going to touch multiple audiences. You know, we've done a lot of screenings around the country so far and we've got some great responses and so I'm really happy to see um this film come together it was such a uh, an amazing experience you know it's my first leading role to be supported by Loretta Devine, Vivica Fox, Michael Clark Duncan, Roger Guinevere Smith who plays my father in the film like these are amazing you know legendary actors and so it was just, uh, you know, and Robert Townsend alone is just legendary. So it was just a true, you know, a blessing for me to be able to get this role. I think it's going to show a lot of people my change and my uh, my acting ability because a lot of people only know me from that. So Raven and from Cougar Town and the different things that I've done, you know, throughout the years. And so for them to see me in such a raw, gritty, you know, strong role, I think this is going to I think this is going to show a lot. So I'm just I'm really happy. I'm feeling so blessed right now. You really sold that movie. <laughs> okay, now <laughs> when can we expect this movie in theaters? <laughs> what do you say? When can we expect the movie? When is it going to be released? Um, the movie actually is looking for, uh, I think we're doing a, a, a small release uh, very soon, but it's just going to be for um, the award seasons that are going on because we're hoping to get some great nominations going on. we got some amazing performances in this film, so we, we, we definitely think that it's it's worth uh, some nominations and some, some awards. And so uh, we just, uh, we really want to be able to get that chance. We want to be able to compete and show this movie off. And so we're going to do that uh, within the next month month or so and then i think the official release is going to be next year around february or um uh black history month you know late january february area so um you know that's what that's what we're looking for right now is definitely 2012 january february release and 
please, everyone, if you get a chance, there's a um, a documentary on YouTube right now uh, that you can type in. You can type in uh, Vivian Saunders uh, in the Hive, or you can type in in the Hive or anything like that, and you can see the 10 minutes, only 10 minutes, uh, documentary on the real school, the real kids that go to the school who these characters are, are you know, semi-based on, and you get to see the real woman, uh, you know, who's given her heart and who started this school and has given the inspiration to, to even, you know, give us uh, a movie or subject to go off of. And so, please, I encourage everyone to check that out on YouTube just so you can see more about the real and rawness of, of what the film is about. And uh, I believe sooner or later we should have some trailers coming out by the first of the year. And there's also some other different uh, leaks out on YouTube about the film and stuff like that. So I encourage everyone, please check that out. Google In the Hive and uh, Robert Townsend so you can find out about this film because it's a great film. I'm really uh, passionate about it. Now, how did you enjoy working with Robert Townsend? Oh, man. (laughs) Robert, you know, Robert is, is one of these... Uh, you know, geniuses uh, in in the world and in the industry that you really just have to hope and uh, and pray that you get an opportunity to be able to work with an individual like him because he's so uh, humble. Uh, but he's so driven, he's so loving, he's so understanding, like he really understands what it takes to be able to uh, make films, make stories, bring uh, characters to life. Uh, you know, he's really in tune with a lot of that. And because he is an actor's director, because he's an actor, mm-hmm. you know, he really has the patience and the understanding to be able to uh, get you to where you need to be to be able to pull off the performance that you need to, to do. You know, because sometimes, you know, it, it, it takes a great director, you know, to be able to give you the right notes or to give you the right inspiration to be able to, to do certain things. And so he's really just a great all-around um, individual just to be around, you know, he's, he's like one of my mentors now in the industry. And so I'm just really happy that I was able to have the chance to work with him. You know, I've always looked at his work and always admired it. And, and it's had so much integrity and, and, uh, so many people have, you know, been so blessed and, and talked so highly upon working with him. And so I just, I really wanted the opportunity. And when it came to me, it was like God really giving me a sign showing me like, you know, you asked for this chance. This could be your chance to work with someone that you know could help, you know, take you to another level as far as, you know, your skills, your ability, your, you know, your industry connections, all different things. And so I just really took that chance to just impress him during the audition. I really didn't worry about, um, you know, get into the politics of whether I would get it or not, because in this industry of acting and music, you know, nothing's promised. Everything is just up in the air. So you just do, you know, your best and you hope for the best. And so I really just wanted to impress him. I really just wanted to show him like, Hey, I'm this new actor that's out here. Pay attention to me. You know what I mean? And so I made an impression on him and, uh, he offered me the role, you know, literally two days later after I auditioned for him. And it was just the most amazing experience because he had me auditioning for five hours straight. I've never auditioned that long in my life. Wow. So he had me audition for like five hours in a room with multiple actors, and he just threw basically every scene at me in the movie. And, um, you know, I went up there. It was cold reading with every actress and every actor and every, you know, individual. And it was uh, it pushed me, you know, but it really made me understand the work that goes into being able to be a leader in a film and be able to stand up and, and hold a film and say, hey, I'm going to carry this film. I'm going to do it. You know, and I, and I'm gonna um, do my part to make it a great film. You know, and so it, it's it, it's been amazing work with Robert. Robert is a great guy. You know, I love working with him, and uh, we're currently you know in discussions and talking about some some more projects to go on because we would love to continue to work together. We got a great uh, work uh, relationship, and so I would love to continue to work with him. A five hour audition. You probably should have known. You had that in the can after hour two Man. and three. <laughs> I, and the crazy part about it is I really I really thought I did, but, you know, you just never, you can never be too sure in this industry. You know, right. it's not really about being cocky. It's just about being confident and knowing that what you want, you want, and you want to go out there and go, and go fight for it. But you can't really just get so attached to everything because, it's, you know, it's so many letdowns. And if you don't understand that, you will get hurt to the point to where you won't want to do it no more. And so that's, that's my thing. I, I just, I feel so passionate about what I do that I don't want to continue to, put so much pressure on it like as if 
you know, it just, everything depends on it because then it's not fun anymore. It's not enjoying it. You know, it's not enjoyable. So, um, you know, I just like to have fun with it. So I really just wanted to impress him. And, and I talked to him about that audition process and he told me that I, that I made an impression on him. He was like, man, I really, you know, you, you came in and blew my, blew my mind. So I was just like, wow, I did exactly what I wanted to do. And that's what got me the role, you know? So it was great. You know, what, one of my favorite songs, well, it's not a favorite song, but it's a very favorite line in a song, and it's by Eminem, although my station is a is a gospel station, but the line, is, it goes across our barriers. When he says you got to lose yourself, although he's talking about music, but in the moment you own it, you better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss this chance to blow. This opportunity comes right. in a lifetime. And those lyrics to me are so powerful, and you took advantage of that. You knew you only had one shot to make a lasting That's impression. It. Mm-hmm. You know that you you said it too, and I understand exactly what you mean. Because when I listen to those lyrics, it it touches me too. Because I'm just one of those individuals that is driven by moments like that. You know what I mean? Because you do only have one shot, but it, you you know you you see the, the validation that when you do take those one shots, it happens for you, and that that should show you right there that what you're doing is right. You know, so you just got to take those one moments. You got to take those chances, and you just never know. You know, but you got to believe in yourself in order to be able to take those chances and you know that's where the years and years of sacrifice that I've been through to get where I'm at you know come in because I have so much belief in myself because of so many years I've been doing this that you know it's just it's it's my life it's what I like to do you know I, I love it I enjoy it it's what I was put here on this earth to do you know to be able to push my positive message of being you know somewhat of a uh, a role model to individuals to show people that, you know, you can go after your dreams, you know, you don't have to just settle. And at the same time, you know, when you go after your dreams, understand what you're going after it for. You know what I mean? Like my dream in this industry was never just to get money or be famous. You know, it's to be able to l- do something I'm passionate about and I love to do, but at the same time, still be able to use that as an opportunity to be able to inspire others, you know, and I think that that's what it's all about. It's about doing great things in the world to inspire others, you know, to do great things. And so I'm just really one of those, uh, one of those fans of, you know, great things being done. And, um, I want to be one of those individuals that, you know, does great things. <laughs> That's good. I mean, it sounds like you're going to be in the industry a long time because you really have a good level head and you, you, you're you very balanced, which is very good, especially to be a young man. And that's really a blessing to hear, you know, in a young man who I know is up and coming because you are up and coming and God opened up that door yeah. for you to do this particular movie. And then he blessed you with a great relationship with Robert Townsend, who always does great things. So I see just great things in your future, which is a blessing. And I want to thank Thank you so much for coming on the show. If somebody wanted to follow you, Jonathan, are you on Facebook, Twitter? How can they follow you? Oh, yeah, of course. You can check out uh, Facebook, Lil J Online. Um, you can actually, check, if you want to go to my website, that will link you to all my social networkings. Uh, the, the, the website is liljforever.com with the number 4, L-I-L-J, number 4, E-V-E-R.com. And uh, follow me on Twitter, Lil J's back, L-I-L-J-S-B-A-C-K. Um, and besides that, you know, please check out the film. You can Google In the High Robert Townsend to find out all the information about the film, uh, the, the YouTube video of the real woman, Vivian Saunders. Um, you know, I just please encourage everyone to just keep checking on this film and, 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 and keep, um, your eyes open for when it comes out and if there's a theater or a place you know that's near you that you would like to see the movie in uh we encourage everyone to be able to you know call down to your to your theater if it's not in a, in a special theater that you would like for it to be in closer to your house and get it in the theaters that's close to your house you know because it's an independent film you know um it was one of those positive inspirational films so a lot of you know uh backing as far as you know big budget is not really there you know a lot of people we don't really want to invest in a lot of positivity nowadays. And so, you know, it's really up to the people to demand such a positive movement in their neighborhoods and in their communities for them to be able to see this film because we don't want it just to come and go. We want it to be able to be heard and seen and be talked about and, you know, hopefully create some conversations around the churches, around the dinner tables, around the jobs and, you know, and, and just get people talking about these, you know, situations that are going on in our backyard, in our, you know, in our country, you know, there are people in 
country that don't have the access to the right internet capabilities and technology, and therefore they're being left out. They're being, you know, left behind in the world that we live in because our world is ran on technology, and if you don't know how to use this, you are going to be left behind. You're not going to know how to succeed in this world, and, you know, this is really going on in our country, and I think we need to change. We need to be able to really take a look at this and see how we can help it because there's enough help out there for us to help, and this is just one of the uh, stories that needs to be told and needs to be seen, you know, for anyone that's out there. So I just encourage everyone to check out the film. I thank you so much for just allowing me to talk about it. I know I've been rambling on about the film, but <laughs> it's, a, it's a great, it's a great film. It really is. And so I'm just, I'm really proud to be a part of it. And I hope everyone gets a chance to see it. Well, Jay, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show. It was truly a pleasure having you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let me know when I can come back. I would love to come back. I sure will.